Ruth chapter 2. And Naomi had a relative on her husband's side, a man of great wealth of the clan of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabitess said to Naomi, Please let me go to the field and glean heads of grain after him, in whose eyes I find favor. So she said to her, Go, my daughter. And she left and went and gleaned in the field after the reapers. As it turned out, she came to the part of the field belonging to Boaz, the near relative of Elimelech. And see, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said to the reapers, Yah be with you. And they answered, Yah bless you. And Boaz said to his servant, who was appointed over the reapers, Whose young woman is this? So the servant who was appointed over the reapers answered and said, It is the young Moabite woman who came back with Naomi from the fields of Moab. And she says, Please let me glean and gather among the sheaves behind the reapers. And she came and has remained from morning until now. She sat a little in the house. And Boaz said to Ruth, You have heard, have you not, my daughter? Do not go to glean in another field, nor go from here, but stay close to my young women. Let your eyes be on the field in which they reap, and you shall go after them. Have I not commanded the young men not to touch you? And when you are thirsty, go to the vessels and drink from what the young men have drawn. And she fell on her face, bowed down to the ground, and said to him, Why have I found favor in your eyes, that you should take notice of me, seeing that I am a foreigner? And Boaz answered and said to her, I have been told all that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband, and how you have left your father and your mother in the land of your birth, and have come to a people whom you did not know before. Yah repay your work, and your reward is complete from Yah, Elohim of Israel, under whose wings you have come to seek refuge. And she said, Let me find favor in your eyes, my master, because you have comforted me and have spoken to the heart of your female servant, though I am not like one of your female servants. And Boaz said to her, Come here at mealtime, then you shall eat of the bread and dip your piece of bread in the vinegar. And she sat beside the reapers, and he passed roasted grain to her, and she ate and was satisfied and had left over. And she rose up to glean, and Boaz commanded his young men, saying, Let her glean even among the sheaves, and do not embarrass her. Rather, draw out from the bundles for her, and leave it for her to glean, and do not restrain her. And she gleaned in the field until evening, and beat out that which she had gleaned. And it was about an ephoth of barley. And she took it up and went into the city, and her mother-in-law what she had gleaned. And she brought out and gave to her what she had left over after she was satisfied. Then her mother-in-law asked her, Where have you gleaned today? And where did you work? Blessed be the one who took notice of you. And she told her mother-in-law with whom she had worked and said, The name of the man I work today is Boaz. And Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, Blessed be he of Yah, who has not forsaken his love and commitment to the living and the dead. And Naomi said to her, The man is a relative of ours, one of our redeemers. And Ruth the Moabite said, He also said to me, Stay close to my young people until they have completed all my harvest. And Naomi said to Ruth, her daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that you go out with the young women, and that they do not meet you in any other field. And she stayed close by the young women of Boaz to glean, to the completion of the barley harvest and wheat harvest. But she dwelt with her mother-in-law.